Hey hi everyone this is admin from admin 365 and today we are going to talk about how to create a SharePoint site in Office 365. So let's get started. So before we go to the creation part uh, let's talk about what exactly is a SharePoint site. Uh, SharePoint site is basically a site provided by Microsoft if you have a relevant subscription you will have a SharePoint license which will help you to create SharePoint sites and once you have created a SharePoint site you can share files with people in your organization and even to external guests as well uh, they can collaborate on one particular document uh, you can manage all the document at one common places you can upload file edit file you can create permissions you can have unique permissions on specific files all that we can do it with SharePoint we'll start with the creation of the SharePoint site and then we will move along so to create a SharePoint site we will go to the office admin center you have to be an admin to create a SharePoint site from the admin center but if you are a user you should also be able to create a SharePoint site let's see how an admin will create a SharePoint site you just have to open a browser and go to office.com and then sign in with your admin account once you are signed in you will see a page like this which will have an app launcher here on the top left you just have to click on it and then you will have to click on the admin you have to be a global admin or a sharepoint admin to be able to create a sharepoint site so uh, let's click on the admin tile and once you click on it it will open this page with the url admin.microsoft.com and you just have to click on show all it will expand all the tabs and under admin center we will look for sharepoint and on the left side you will see sites and then active site this is the place where we can create different sites in an organization and as you can see i have a lot of sites created there are two types of sites which we usually create one is a communication site and the other one is a team site so we'll go ahead and create a team site and uh, for us to create a team site we'll go to sites active sites and then click on create and here you can see the two sites and the two description of the sites as well and we'll go ahead and create a team site we'll give a site a name a site name has to be a unique name And you will see a group being created when you create a team site it creates a office 365 group as well and also a site with the address which you have entered in the site name without spaces uh, it will ask you for a group owner uh, you can add your own account as a group owner and then select the languages in advanced settings we have privacy settings if you want you can choose from these privacy settings we'll go ahead with private time zone site description and the limit once done you can hit next and in this window you can go ahead and add members if you want who can access the site create folders and collaborate on the team site you can add the members and you can have the description on the left side as well you can read that and click on finish and it says that the site has been created we can look for it by just searching for it and this is the site which we have created and if you click on this it will open the site directly and it will show you how exactly it looks so we'll click on it and since i am the owner of it i will be able to manage everything on the site thus i can create the site for the user and then provide them 
access depending whether they want to be a owner or a member and we can skip this and close this and this is basically the site which we get a quick info of all the tabs here uh, on the right we see two members it includes me and the other member which i have added i can increase or decrease the permission permissions level by just selecting from here or also remove the person from the group if i want it and uh, add more members as well as you can see on the top so this is for the owner um, view what we see here you can log in with the member and you can check what exactly is available to the member and this is where you store all the documents uh, which you upload so example if you upload a file you can upload a file or a folder from your computer by browsing on it or you can simply create a new file directly from here or a folder directly from here all the members on the team site will be able to access that particular folder or file and contribute on it with the member permission it can be further the permissions which is available can also be given on a folder level to specific person who is not a part of the team here and these are the other parts which is basically for the admin to manage it can be confusing but uh, this is the recycle bin this is the site content where you can see all the sites uh, all site content available for example if you click on it it will show you the home page it will show you the document library and all that stuff and there you go so basically uh, you can create different document libraries as well by clicking on new and document library uh, it will have a separate location on the same site you can share it with other people as well but the members will be able to see every document library present in the site and this is the home page what exactly is the on the home page this is all all the quick information of the activities happening on the site and once you upload file uh, it will appear here for quick access for the members and the owner in it you can simply add new members as i mentioned and you can follow the site so uh, if once you follow the site it will appear under your sharepoint location personally and you don't have to visit the sharepoint admin center again and again to access the site so uh, you can share it with other members as well if you want to add new members you can click on add member here and then start typing the name and once you save it it will send a link to that person stating that he or she has been added to a sharepoint site if you want you can go ahead and add the members or you can add it from the admin center so this was uh, the site overview and if you want to enable access to external people you can also do that so for us to enable external sharing on this site or invite guests on the site to collaborate we'll have to click on it click on the name of it and then click on policies here and under external sharing or you can directly access it by here so under external sharing we'll just click on edit to see what permissions is assigned and you can choose from all the policies available this is for new and existing guests so new guests can be allowed on the site to collaborate once they sign in they will be asked for the code and then they will be able to access that particular document shared with them and anyone is uh, anyone with the link can access the particular file an existing guest is the guest which is already present on the site will be able to access and the guest who is not part of your site but also a part of other site will be able to access the document if you give them the permission and uh, the last option is only people in your organization it basically means that it does not allow anyone external so we'll have this on new and existing guests uh, since it allows new people to the site to collaborate on it 
so these were the setting for the external sharing advanced setting for external sharing is for the expiration default sharing link type uh, what happens when you click on share what should be the default link showing there uh, it is set to only people in your organization so once you click on share it will uh, suggest you this then then you can change it to new or anyone with the link and what permissions you want to be on the default sharing permission so if it is set to people in your organization and uh, it is set to edit so anyone which is in so if i share a document with anyone in the organization it defaults to the edit uh, which can be changed at the time of sharing as well so this is how you enable external sharing on a sharepoint site so now we were able to create a sharepoint site enable external sharing on it and let's see how we can invite guests to collaborate on a document so uh, we'll go to the document library here it is also called document list so uh, once you click on new and we'll just create a test folder here for sharing and how it looks so this folder has been created and once you hover your mouse here you will see this share icon you simply have to click on it and then you will see this option this is the default option which we see here which says people in frame with the link and access which is equivalent to uh, people in your organization and the allow editing which was turned on in here editing and only people in your organization so this is the default settings which we saw there and we can also change that so for example so if i want to share this particular folder with someone external i will click on specific people to invite new guest and uh, depending on the permission which which i want them to have i will give them edit permissions we'll click on apply and then i will type their external email address so it could be anything i'm just tapping a random domain just for the understanding dot com and this will show up in the drop down you just have to select that from the drop down it will mention that it is outside your organization that's fine because we are going to invite an external person to access the test folder and the content of the test folder simply hit send once you hit send it will send a link to this user and once the user click on it it will ask for the verification code and once he or she enters the code it will give them access to it so we'll hit send and the link is sent as you can see so they, in this way you can invite external guests to the sharepoint site for the collaboration so if i create a new folder here Uh, the person which I shared this file with will not be able to see the folder which I have created in this directory. Only the folder and the file which is within the test is viewable to the person I shared. This is how we share a particular folder or a file with someone external. And if the guest which with whom we are sharing the file is not using a Microsoft account, Microsoft will prompt them to sign up for Microsoft account. And uh, once they sign up for Microsoft account, they can use the same email address and a different or a same password to access this particular document. So if they are using a Gmail account, they will have to register it with Microsoft so that they can use the same gmail account and log in to the sharepoint site and access the content of the test folder so till now we were able to successfully create a team site enable external sharing on it and share a particular test folder with someone external and in case you want to sync all your files which is present on the document library on your computer you can do that as well uh, you will have to use the onedrive application on your computer to sync it on your computer so uh, if you want to sync all the folders which you see here folder files which are present in the document library of the sharepoint site uh, you simply have to click on sync 
when you are under the document library and once you hit sync it will prompt for onedrive to open if you have onedrive installed on your computer which is a by default built-in application for windows uh, it should open it directly it will ask you to sign in with the account which has permission to the sharepoint site and then it will start to sync on file explorer so uh, this is the onedrive personal which you can see here uh, you will see a building like this and then this document library so this will have test test team one hyphen documents when i sync the document library of test team one and once you click on it you should be able to see all the files which is available on this document library so there you go guys we were able to successfully create a team site enable external sharing on it share it with an external guest and then sync all the files of the document library on your computer so do let me know if you have any question about it any doubt you can drop it in the comment section and you have a nice day bye